I want to do an example of a problem where pressure, volume, and temperature are all changing. Here we've got a 0.5 liter container containing 0.3 atmospheres of gas. That's at 200 Kelvin. If that container is compressed to 0.1 liters and heated to 1000 Kelvin, what's the new pressure? If you followed my last video, you'll know I like to start with this equation and cancel out things that are the same from one side to the other, or from your initial conditions to your final conditions. Now we have an added material here, or taken away material, so that means the number of moles is the same on both sides. R is the gas constant, a constant is the same on both sides. Now pressure is changing volume is changing and the temperature is also changing so that means I have lots of numbers I have to plug in P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2 let's fill in some numbers initial pressure 0.3 atmospheres initial volume 0.5 liters initial temperature 200 Kelvin new pressure that's what we don't know. Leave it as P2. New volume, 0 0.1 liters. New temperature, 1000 Kelvin. The question is, how do we solve for P2? Well, we have to undo division by 1000, so we'll end up multiplying on this side. And we have to undo multiplication by 0.1, so we have to divide on this side. What you end up with is 0.3 atmospheres times 0.5 liters times 1,000 Kelvin. Notice we ended division by multiplying. And on the bottom, we have the 200 Kelvin from before, but we also have to divide by 0.1 liters. Notice we ended multiplication with division. When you do that on your calculator, you end up with 7.5 atmospheres. Notice my units cancel out. I've got liters on top, liters on bottom, Kelvin on bottom, Kelvin on top. The units I'm left with is atmospheres. You can plug 0.3 times 0.5 divided by 100. Oh, sorry, times 100. Divided by all this on the bottom. If you're doing this in your calculator, you're going to want to put the denominator in brackets. 200 times 0.1. And when you do that on your calculator, you end up with 7.5 atmospheres. Even if pressure and volume and temperature are all changing at once, you can still use this initial formula, cross out what's constant on both sides, and solve the rest of it. Good luck.